Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are watching Die Hard today, and I'm very excited for this one. It won the poll over on Patreon, and it's a big part of pop culture, but I've never actually seen the film because it was it came out before I was born. But I do know some things about it, from mostly from TV shows. Um, friends mentioned it, Joey Chandler and Ross were watching it one day, and they're all very hyped about it except for Chandler. Uh, it's the episode where Ross and Joey like take a nap together, and yeah, they're watching it before all that goes down. Uh, I also know about it from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I know some more details about the film from that, which is, uh, which are, uh, the final showdown area is like Nakatomi Plaza, um, or Tower, Nakatomi pa uh, Tower or Plaza, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I know Alan Rickman, R.I.P., plays Hans Gruber, um, and he's the main, like, antagonist of the film. And I know Bruce Willis is the protagonist of the film, but I don't know his name. I do know his catchphrase, yippee ki -yay. Uh, mother, mother, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna say it out loud right now, but um, I also know this is like a kind of a Christmassy film. Like it's it takes place during Christmas, but people have been saying it's not like technically a tick Christmas film. Either way, we're watching it in July, so. Um, but I'm excited for this. Uh, we're gonna get started. If you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. But let's go. Well, let's. I was just making a call. This is uh, the nurse phone. You were Why just doing we some drugs. <laughs> He's gonna see the photo party. that was put down. I you. Guess you didn't miss my name, though, huh? Except maybe when you're signing checks. Dude. Good job. Very mature. Didn't you just wipe your armpits with that? I... Z. Two points. It's Christmas, you guys. What are you doing? Barefoot with a pistol. Ladies and gentlemen. Turn to page 364. 394. Money. Kind of terrorist. Terrorists. <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? Yeah, what the heck? I'm telling you, you just got to kill me. Okay. Tell me you heard the shots. You call the police right now. Who was I'm still calling? Are you all just gonna sit through the entire thing? Why the fuck didn't you stop him, John? Cause then you'd be dead too, asshole. <laughs> think, God damn it, think. Baby, come on, baby. <laughs> I'll kiss your fucking dimension. You won't hurt me. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because you're a policeman. There are rules for policemen. Now, please remember. Uh. We have left nothing to chance. Now I have a machine gun. But they have hostages. You you want to taunt them like that? Ho 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 ho. Hans? Carl? This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? If this is an emergency call, dial 911 on your team. Are you fucking kidding Otherwise, me right now? No way. No way. Nobody's grip strength is good that good. <laughs> Some people's grip strength are that good. And he's in the vents. No weapons. A lighter. Good advice. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi. Nah. He is okay. Slow. Come on, John. Slow. Oh. Damn, God damn it, he is a crap. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki motherfucker. Uh you the guy in the car? What's left of him? Group of men <laughs> seize control of the Nakatomi building, sealing off all entrances and exits. 
All telephone lines have been cut. Uh, the Argyle. Communication... But what about the body that fell out the window? Well, who knows? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. We're ready for you, Chief. All right, Jeez. light him up. Let's go. Bottle car, the rocket. rocket ammunition? <laughs> You motherfucker, you made your point, let him pull back! Thank you, Mr. Cowboy, I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. So you take this under advisement, jerkweed. What? Get back, get back. Oh, shit. Yeah, you think? Tell me you got that. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Listen to me, you little asshole. I'm a asshole. I'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national TV, Dwayne. Jerk off. You're not part of the solution. You're part of the problem. Quit being part of the fucking problem. Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. I must have missed sixty minutes, you Mr. McLean. Ah. Did he give up the wife too? This asshole is not my friend. I just met him tonight. I don't know him. Jesus Christ, LSE, people are gonna kill you. Tell them you don't know me. Idiot. The following people are to be released from their captors. The nine members of the Asian Dawn. What the fuck? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Please, please, whoa, please, whoa, please, whoa, please, relax. Please. Relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, gotta use a handgun, Bill. Oh, God. Did he empty it? 33. Stockwerk. Kommt. Sofort. Why haven't you pulled what the trigger? What do you want with the detonators, Hans? No bullets. Fucking stupid, Hans. <laughs> uh oh. You were saying? Ooh, the kneecaps. Shoot the glass. Tell me you got something. Just McLean's name, badge number, employment record, vital statistics, and his family's home address. Just that, eh? Please don't re- you, you, you are not allowed to release that right now. He's still alive. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. I'm good for I shot a kid. He was 13 years old. It's dark, I couldn't see him. He had a ray gun look real enough. I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. Will he have to by the end of the night? Sorry, man. Probably not. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Get a move on. For the throat and stop punching him in the face. You know, your mom and dad are very important people. They're very brave people. Uh, like you idiots! God damn. McLean. McLean, I have some news for you. He's busy right now. Oh! Why does man- oh! Ah! 
Shoot him for good measure. Off the side of the oh. oh John, what the fuck are you doing? Yikes. Ah, uh, uh, you're gonna have to break the glass with your feet. Oh. Oh. Two bullets? US ma What? Ooh. Ruin the limo on the first day. <laughs> Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Uh In Brooklyn 992, I, I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize it was from this movie. Not a hostage. Bestie. Aww. This is the reunion we wanted. Who cares about the husband and wife? <laughs> what? He drew his gun again. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. I hate you. There we go. This is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> All the weather outside is is that safe to drive? But Please just stop. Stop you, right? If the hood is like that. And since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh man, guys, I'm actually re-watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I'm like barely through the first season, and I'm glad I didn't get too far because I've for I had forgotten some things from Brooklyn Nine-Nine that were basically like spoilers for Die Hard. Um, the gun behind the back thing, that was in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I totally forgot about it. Uh, I totally- f I remember the scene, but I didn't remember that it had a connection with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, Argyle was a very funny <laughs> minor character. Uh, just all this stuff going on in the background of this movie. John being like, please, Argyle, tell me you heard those gunshots. And he's like, uh, like, parting it up in his limo, in the back of the limo. Um, I knew the picture Holly put down would have significance. And I thought it was going to be John seeing the picture put down and, like, feeling bad. But then it becomes this, like, huge point of tension when Ellis tries to make a deal with Hans. It's like, damn, if they find out her relation to John, they're, like, they're all in some deep shit. And... I'm glad Ellis wasn't that horrible and that stupid that he'd give that up. He did underestimate Hans, though, um, telling those hostage takers that you have a personal relationship with the person who was trying to ruin their heist. Come on, he's. And the last thing he did, he loves Coke, and the last thing he did was drink Coke. Um, <laughs> One contribution he did make to this film was his insistence that Holly show John her watch. Uh, Rolex given to her as a thank you for her hard work for the company and it's not something Holly wants to flaunt because her success doesn't mean that she does mean that she doesn't want to go back to New York um, she's just he's like show it to her show it show it to him show it to him and she's like no like maybe later um, but John takes off the the watch at the end and that's what makes Hans fall to fall to his death and um, 
Yeah. That was a contribution from Ellis. Uh, I'm so glad that in the end, the TV journalist got knocked on his... He didn't get knocked on his ass. He got punched in the face by Holly. <sighs> he so deserved it. Um, threatening to report the caretaker to the INS. Uh, and then parading the kids in front of... You're not supposed to release that information during an active... Uh, it was just horrible. Um, and uh, what I found funny was that John was like constantly ch- checking some woman out. There was just the the flight attendant, then the woman um, at the airport who was like hugging her, like reuniting with somebody. And then there was like a picture of somebody. I don't know. It was kind of, it was, it was funny. And at the same time, just like kind of creepy, honestly. Um, but yeah, actually really, really interestingly, uh, if you've watched my reactions to Stranger Things, it was in season three, episode five, there was a big nod to Die Hard. And I happened to watch them, these two things, Die Hard and Season 3, Episode 5 of Stranger Things, within like a day of each other. And it's like the universe knew I was going to be watching both, because Hopper does the same exact thing as John McClane does to the first German guy he comes across. Like, same dialogue and everything. Um, The guy was just like, oh, you're not going to shoot me, policemen have rules. Uh, And then he like jumps on his back and rides, like, while the gun... the uh, Machine gun? I don't know if it's mach- is it assault rifle? Machine gun? I don't know what the difference is. Uh, while it sprays everywhere. Um, so really, really interesting that my... I'm, I'm not going to try and... I'm going to try and not spoil Stranger Things. But yeah, I feel like my in-universe explanation for that is... Because Stranger Things takes place in 1985 and Die Hard comes out in 1989. And the dialogue is like identical. So my explanation for that is that Hopper serves as a consultant for writing the film, uh, writing the dialogue of Die Hard. Um, that's why the dialogue is the same, yeah. That's my that's my headcanon. Um, yeah, some really charming things about the movie. John was not able to get a pair of shoes. It's just the funniest con- inconvenience to have. Uh, and then he writes how many criminals are on his... Wait, did he write on his right arm? I feel like he did, but... Yeah, I guess so. Um, did he shoot with his right hand most of the time? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I feel like he shot with his right hand, but he was writing on his right arm with his left hand. Am I making that up? All right, whatever. Um, but yeah, writing their names and then like crossing them out—that's like a love, completely level, like complete, just a very huge level of cool right there. And uh, the interaction when Hans tries to get like buddy buddy with John is fascinating. Like he tries to get some information out of him, and John is savvy enough to say he was invited to the party by mistake. And then he hands his gun off to him. You're just like, t- everybody's just like, tell me there are no bullets in that gun. Come on, tell me. Um, Hans got to see his feet like barefoot. Um, <laughs> John got through three fourths of the movie fine, like barefoot. That's really impressive, honestly. Um, but Hans, that wound up um, making him shoot the glass and getting some, ah, some glass stuck on his feet. That. He seemed, John honestly seems kind of invincible. He even got shot in the shoulder, and that didn't seem to, like, affect him for the entire rest of the movie. Um, and John wound up taking out everybody except for the German brother that Al Powell killed. Like, super impressive. Uh, love the action and suspense of this film. I can definitely see why it's a classic. It's got explosions, which is very rare for... I feel like you don't expect a... Um, <laughs> explosions on this level and like rockets from a a heist film it's not actually a heist film because you're not on the i guess it could be categorized as a heist film um hmm does it have all the i guess i guess it does kind of have all the um ingredients for a heist film it's just you're not rooting for the people uh in the heist though honestly there were parts of the movie where it was just like it was fun to see them succeed, like the moment with the music um, playing the da 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 da. Um, after they opened the freaking, is that the, was that the music I was playing? They, after they opened the the seven gates or seven locks, uh, that was really funny. And I hope you enjoyed my joke about Alan Rickman uh, when he he's like, "Ladies and gentlemen," I was like, "Open to page three hundred and ninety-four." It's a Harry Potter reference, in case. Um, you are not familiar with that, or you've forgotten, because it's a it's pretty meme worthy. Um, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I, I would give this movie a solid eight. Uh, it's definitely a classic, and um, the only reason it isn't higher is just because I have watched some other films that I can't rate under it. Um, 
but I really love I really enjoy the film and ah oh, the explosion. John, John McLean is just kind of really funny. Like his him talking to himself all the time, like uh, at the beginning, where he's just like, "Why did you stop him, John? Because you then be you be dead too, dumbass." Uh, that was really funny. Um, yeah, just overall, I enjoy this movie and. Yeah, uh, if you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. And be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. We're going to do more movies coming up. Uh, I believe Detective Pikachu is coming out this week if you're watching on YouTube. And Endgame is going to come out next week. So look forward to that. And I'll see you guys next time.